when the media were talking about the construction work on Big Ben, it was described as an iconic symbol of British democratic values. We think it's a bit more than ironic that the company that's been given the refurbishment contract for Big Ben is a company that's guilty of blacklisting and admitted they're guilty in the high court. That's why we're here today. If democratic values means anything, it means uh, defence of human rights. It's an outrage that, uh, that the Tory government have given Sir Robert McAlpine uh, this contract. 40 years ago, when I came out with Runwick Strike, I was myself blacklisted by the Economic League and others. Uh, I was out of work for a few months only. Uh, but I then became an officer of the Transport and General Workers Union. I did not suffer, therefore, like Dave and so many others who were blacklisted, years out of work, denied their fundamental human right uh, to be represented by a, the trade union and to gain work, uh, including if they were in a trade union. I think there is a certain hypocrisy in us saying here in Parliament how outraged we are that people were systematically victimised, discriminated against and prevented from working in their chosen sector by a range of the biggest construction companies in our country, expressing that outrage on the one hand and then awarding a contract to one of those companies on the other. Tears being shed at the bonds of Big Ben disappearing for several years, but silence when it comes to discussing who actually gets the contract to refurbish it and bring the bonds back to life. The first thing that we want to do uh, is to strengthen the law. The second thing we want to do is have an independent public inquiry into the scandal of blacklisting, uh, which is not history, it continues to this day. And the third thing that we want to do is to ensure that the blacklisters are themselves blacklisted. Those who blacklist workers should not get public contracts. And it's a scandal that we have a blacklister who's actually doing the work right now on Big Ben.